My name is Christy Buryat. My name is Chen Rong Yang. I'm Christy's graduate student in the Department of Chemistry at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. We're delighted that our article has been chosen to be featured in an upcoming issue of Protein Science. The title is, Membrane Protein Stability Can Be Compromised by Detergent Interactions with the Extramembranous Soluble Domains. We'll be joined by our co-authors at Columbia and together we'll describe some key points of our paper. My name is John Hunt and my name is Chi Wang. I'm currently a postdoc in John's lab in the Department of Biological Sciences at Columbia University. The current study grew out of efforts that lasted more than a decade to express and characterize nucleotide binding domain 1, or NBE1, which is an extra membrane soluble domain for the cystic fibrosis transmembrane conductance regulator. NBE1 is the site of the famous Delta F508 mutation, the most frequent mutation that causes the lethal genetic disease cystic fibrosis. The U.S. Cystic Fibrosis Foundation sponsored a long-term project to purify NBD1 in functional form, which turned out to be a heroic biochemical and biophysical struggle. Eventually, in the two previously published papers cited by Christie, we demonstrated that the major obstacle to purification of NBD1 is its limited thermodynamic stability. These papers also show that the Delta F508 mutation lowers the stability of NBD1 further, and that this reduction is a major contributor to pathology caused by the mutation. John and I thought studies on soluble NBD1 might help the consortium understand why some detergent extracted CFTR wasn't functional. These studies expand on our earlier NBD1 work, which was published in back-to-back -back papers in Protein Science in 2010. Here we studied 20 detergents, and to our surprise, some detergents that are generally considered to be mild actually denature NBD1. And furthermore, the relative harshness of the detergent mirrors the scale widely accepted for the interaction of detergents with the transmembrane domains, namely anionic and charged detergents are harsher than zwitterionic, which are harsher than non-ionic. We conducted the differential scanning calorimetry experiments on MBD1 in the presence of various detergents. DSC measures the heat uptake of a protein sample during controlled heating. Here is an example of the DSC curves of MBD1 in the presence of increasing concentration of phoscholine 14, a Swizzaronic detergent. The midpoint of each endothermic peak, Tmax, represents the temperature at which 50% of the protein is unfolded and is widely used as a measure of the protein's thermal stability. There is a gradual decrease in Tmax as the detergent concentration increases. At the highest detergent concentration, there is no more heat detected, indicating the protein is denatured by this detergent. To correlate the observed decrease in thermal stability by DSC with possible structural change in the protein, John and Qi conducted circular dichroism experiments. Far-UV circular dichroism spectroscopy, or CD, is an effective tool to monitor changes in protein secondary structure, and we use it to characterize such changes in BD1 during thermal denaturation in the presence of detergent. To our surprise, several generally non-denaturing detergents induced a hypothetical non-native confirmation in MBD1 at temperatures where the domain is otherwise properly folded and stable, as shown in the CD titration data presented in the slide. Induction of this non-native structure coincided with the loss of the endothermic and folding transition in MBD1 in the DIC experiment conducted by Wendy and Christy. These observations indicate that generally non-denaturing detergents can destabilize extra membranous soluble domains. This effect could represent a hidden obstacle to purification of integral membrane proteins in high yield for biochemical and structural studies.